while scrappy, they were eventually able to find a way through England's dobby defence to the night of the win. We had a fantastic performance out there in that pitch today. We had great players that, that played with a smile on the face. And uh, like you say, the result for me is irrelevant for what I saw on the pitch. Not irrelevant to the competition, though. Well, this result means that the Lion Eckers can now fly off to sunny Florida in the knowledge that a win against Japan on Tuesday will seal the trophy. Perhaps it really is their time to believe. Joe Curry, BBC News, Nashville. Chances for Great Britain this evening at the European Indoor Athletics Championships. Follow all the action on the BBC Sport website and on BBC Two right now. But that is all from me for now, guys. Okay, Catherine, thanks for that. That's it. I'll be back with the late news at 10 now on BBC One Time for Women's News Radio. First, a Paralympian athlete from Essex has told the piece she's frustrated that a new smartphone app designed to help disabled rail passengers still hasn't been rolled out nationwide. The app is being trialled on Greater Anglia trains, update station staff on a passenger's journey. And Wafula Strike says big improvements are still needed to make travelling by train more accessible. Maria Veronese reports. And Wafula Strike is pleased a smartphone app to help passengers with disabilities is being trialled, but she's frustrated with how long it's taken to launch the app nationally. Yeah, it's frustrating, and we are hoping that when it comes up, you know, when it's finally... And stop the clock, that is wrong. Here we go. In age, who was the middle of the three Bronte sisters? Correct, we push the chase.